a brand new car, but it's not factory paint anymore. Hey guys, I'm Nate. Welcome back to the channel. So today, just going to get some dinner, early dinner today. So I thought we would talk today about should you buy a used or a new Hellcat? So I bought several cars over the year, new cars, used cars. So I feel like I could give you guys some tips just on, you know, what I find is the best based on maybe your own personal situation. And I've had good experience with both, bad experiences with both. Sometimes I wish I bought new when I bought used. Sometimes I wish I bought used when I bought new. So this Hellcat, I bought it new. I mean, there really was not many choices to buy this used because this was the first model year it came out and they were just going crazy. So I think if you bought it a used one, I probably would end up paying more than I paid for this new one. But my previous two challengers, the 2011 392, that one I bought used, and the previous one, 2009, that again, limited availability, just came out, that one I had bought new. What's been my experience? So this car, I bought it new. I've had this car ever since it was basically straight out of the dealer. I know the car is in great condition. I've kept it in really good condition. But even for a car like this that has been very well taken care of at least in my opinion its entire life i drive this car hard when i drive it so if you're looking to buy a used hellcat just know no matter how well that car has been taken care of no one in their right mind that buys a hellcat is going to baby their car they're they're going to have done plenty of wide open throttle runs plenty of on-ramp runs maybe them taking to the drag strip but yeah i mean otherwise why would you buy a hellcat you would just buy an SXT and call it a day. Yeah, so that's one thing you gotta keep in mind, right? So if you want a car that's never been raced, never been wide open throttled, blah, 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 then don't buy a used Hellcat of all cars. My previous car before this Hellcat was a certified pre-owned, which you would expect a certified pre-owned car to be basically like new. And it was an Audi, so I was expecting, okay, well, it's an Audi, certified pre-owned, this is probably going to be a great car. And I tell you what, the car seemed like it was in great shape. It seemed like it had been taken care of really well. And for the most part, mechanically, cosmetically, it looked fine. But when I went to sell that car, and this is the but, you never find this stuff until it's too late. And this stuff could end up biting you in the ass. It could have ended up biting me, biting me in the ass when I went to sell this car. So when I went to sell the Audi, I took it to CarMax. And I said, yeah, you know, has this car ever been repainted? Has there ever been any damage? No, of course, right? Because it was certified pre-owned. I asked those same questions at a clean Carfax, as reliable as Carfax report may be. Car seemed fine. But when I went to sell it, they said, hey, the hood's been repainted. And I was like, what are you talking about? The hood's been repainted. It's, it's a certified pre-owned. Well, they used a paint cage, right? And they found out that the hood paint was slightly thinner than the rest of the car. They even admitted it's an excellent paint job, but it was not the original factory paint. I had to disclose that when I sold the car and luckily the buyer was fine with it. He did his own inspection, found the same thing that, you know, the actually not just the hood, he found thinner paints on other portions of the car. But he said, even his inspection guy said, yeah, the paint looks like it was done really well. So nothing to worry about. So that was one thing, you know, I didn't think I was gonna have to deal with buying a certified pre-owned car. I thought, you know, the paint, everything would have been perfect, in perfect condition and not having been repainted, but that wasn't the case. My 2011 392, I also bought that used. It was from a Dodge dealership and I'm pretty sure that was certified pre-owned as well. So that 392, again, car mechanically, everything, it was in perfect condition, but when I went to wash it, I noticed that there was a little bit of damage on the back, on the bumper. I also noticed when I was working under the car that there was some damage underneath on the lifting points. Like, I guess someone had tried to lift the car from the wrong place and it ended up crushing whatever. There's like a rubber stopper underneath the rocker guards on the 392 and that had ended up getting crushed or mangled. So yeah, again, just little things that kind of just annoyed me about this car that I wouldn't have had, obviously, if I bought the car new, right? I would have known what happened to it. Now, with all that said, that doesn't necessarily mean that when you buy a new car, it's gonna be in perfect condition too. I mean, there's a ton of things that can happen to a car before it actually gets into your hand at the dealer. And so case in point was my first Challenger that I bought, the 2009, brand new car out of the dealer. I noticed when I would wash it in certain light, it was very, un very unnoticeable but I would notice that a portion of the bumper like where the seams met 
the bumper cover to the front of the car, the fender, the color seemed like it didn't match quite. And I was looking online, hey, you know, anyone else have these problems? Come to find out that apparently Dodge had a really big problem when they were shipping these cars. I guess they didn't know how to ship them properly. That they were sometimes getting unhooked in the trains and rattling around in the train car and they were getting paint damage. So the dealers would just repaint whatever was necessary before delivery. It's a brand new car, but it's not factory paint anymore but they still sell it to you as a brand new car. I called the dealer in that case, he was willing to work it out, but I looked at the car and I was like, you know, it's so unnoticeable that it's just not worth trying to get this repainted or trying to match it. So I, I ended up leaving it alone. So what I do definitely recommend, if you're gonna buy a used car, obviously you're saving a bunch off the price of a new car you avoid that initial depreciation. That's why you would buy a used car. Otherwise, all things being equal, everyone would just buy new cars, right? If you're gonna buy a used car, my recommendation is to you is do your due diligence, get that inspection. It's great if you could get the inspection done by a specialist shop. So if you're buying something like this, a Hellcat, you get a Dodge shop to look over it. If you're buying a Subaru, you get a Subaru specialist to look over it, etc. Is there something like the paint gauge, for example? Most people don't have a paint gauge at home. So you're not going to be able to go around the car and see, okay, has this thing been repainted? But inspection can, can do that. And I think the inspection costs are, you know, pretty reasonable, around $100, maybe a little bit less even, for someone to come. They'll take detailed pictures of the car and they'll send them to you. They'll drive it around for a little bit. They'll note any mechanical issues. So I think it really is worth it. Now, with that being said, what about you guys? What's your preference? Do you prefer, you gotta buy a car, it has to be new. You gotta be the first butt that's sitting in that seat. Do you care? You just want the best price, so you'll take that used car, doesn't matter. But maybe you prefer the CPO, just for that peace of mind. You get a little bit of warranty with it too. Leave it down in the comments. So yeah, check out these next video, guys. Hope you really enjoyed this one, and I'll see you there. Thanks, bye.